Dylan St. Cyr has been flawless tonight. It's just been easy for him. Like, that's how good he's been. Dylan's done an unbelievable job coming in here and being a leader and, and playing great for us in that. He's a low maintenance guy, super hard worker, team guy, high character. You know, he's got a lot of experience in college hockey and, and high level hockey. He's been in some winning programs. Having that in our locker room has been really huge for us. I think he realized early on that if he wants to have success, um, he needs to put the work in. And that's something that from day one, that he was the kind of kid that wanted to work hard. He's very competitive. He doesn't like to lose, uh, a little bit like his mom. <laughs> Meno Riam, also known as Dylan's mom, is a trailblazer in the sport of hockey. She was the first woman to play in a Quebec Major Junior Hockey League game. She was the first woman to play in a National Hockey League game in an exhibition game with the Tampa Bay Lightning. She played in that exhibition game in 1992 and it wasn't until 1998 the women's tournament made its debut at the Olympic Games. And then she did that too. So, I mean, she's really truly accomplished everything and anything that this game has had to offer her in terms of opportunity. I think the, the age that I kind of realized what uh, impact my mom had was probably at age 13. There was a group of girls that kind of came up to her. We're all excited to, to see the impact that she's made and obviously just meet her, take a picture. I think Meno was so successful in a male-dominated sport because she didn't take no for an answer. She didn't let people who didn't know her, didn't know her love for the sport, didn't respect her talent and her skill for the sport, turn her away from the sport. When the next generation of girls and women came along in the sport, people didn't question them like they questioned her her whole life. That's why she's accomplished what she's accomplished and to be quite frankly, no one else has. Looking back at my mom's achievements, I think that's it's something to be very proud of. And I think that's, that's obviously helped me to want to make some sort of impact. I think with Mano, Dylan had a great role model. It's about stopping the next shot. You're gonna face some adversity. It's not always gonna go your way. Dylan's got that even keel approach that it's about getting better today. And, it's contagious to the rest of our group. Dylan's faced some adversity throughout his college career. I mean, he's played on some really good teams, but you know, at the end of the day, maybe didn't end up being the starting goalie. Dylan played his best hockey at Quinnipiac, but he lost the starting position at the beginning of the year. He got hurt. The other goaltender started and played very well but he was very professional about it and was ready to go. What I'm most, as a parent, proud of is the fact that he was a team player and he knew that you have to be good when you're on the ice and you have to be a good teammate when you're not. I think the game that probably closely resembles my mom's game would have to be more the mental side to kind of have to overcome some sort of barriers and the achievements that we wanted to succeed at in, in hockey. When you're looking for someone to help you through the, your own adversity, you don't have to look any further than, than your mom, and that's pretty special. I think the thing that drew me most to Michigan State uh, for the last year my NCAA eligibility was when Coach Nightingale called and he really wanted to talk about building a culture here. This is Coach Nightingale's first year as head coach with Michigan State and when you look at the transfer portal and you see Dylan St. Cyr and you're looking to instill a culture, uh, one is that is so strong it's going to help build a championship team but it's going to help all of these players leave as incredible young men. Dylan St. Cyr is that one player that you want on that roster. I think that every adversity that Dylan faced um, in hockey uh, just made him stronger. I always said to him, something good's going to come out of that. And sometimes you don't know what it is. It may not be now, but eventually you'll realize, you know, that something good came out of that. I 
I think for him to know that he can bring all the experience that he learned, all the adversity that he faced, and really help the team. I think for Dylan that was like a challenge for him, a new challenge, a different kind of challenge, and I'm glad that he took the chance.